Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell to Singularity video. So, today we're going to be continuing on with the Mass Extinction uh, event, part um, short time event here. We've only got three days left to complete this actually. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's been 21 hours since I last filmed the last episode. Um, we have earned a lot of stuff, so we'll double it, why not? Okay, so... If you remember, we finished off with the last episode with the rain of dinosaurs. We had just got that. So this is the full-on dinosaur event. So this is the uh, dinosaur rain that went all the way to the Cretaceous period. So this is the uh, final era of the dinosaurs as far as I know. So there we are. But anyways, let's evolve all these. Oh my god. So what do we have? Killer space rock. So in an instant, the world changes. An asteroid punches a hole in the atmosphere and the vacuum of space swoops in. Half a second later, it blasts mantle deep crater, ejecting crust into orbit. In minutes, a wide swarm of life is what um, is now the Americas is dead. Oh man. And then I think I think I got this one as well. I think I evolved this just after the episode ended. Um, what is future Madagascar pulls away from India? The rupture unleashes a lava flood the size of France, now called the Deacon Traps. Deccan traps. This mega volcanic outburst, the second biggest on record, harms life across the globe. How severely and how long is hotly debated? Okay, and then we've got shock and boom. Speeding 20 times faster than the bullet, the asteroid creates shockwaves, air blasts, and sonic boom that reaches the whole planet like a bell. The boom is 500 times louder than the uh, Krakatoa eruption of 1883, the loudest sound on record. So yeah, it's a pretty big deal. So there we go. Right, uh, we'll get these guys to click for us again. Um, okay, so we've also got Quack and Slide, and an off-the-scale earthquake rattles the planet, easily felt on the other side of the globe. That's kind of like how Mercury works when, when something hits Mercury, because obviously it's a smaller planet. Mercury has something similar to this, I believe. So, you hit one side, the other side will feel it as well. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, meteoric bombs. Within minutes, ejected from the crater, falls the firebombs from the sky, rocks that liquid on impact. Just turn into glass bees that drop like height bullets into animal flesh, limestone ejected from the ocean floor, falls and forms towering cliffs and miles around. We have boiled earth, the hot ejecting likes, fires and roasts the American landscape, brought in all life exposed on the surface, ash and soot below into black toxic clouds that circle the globes and not good. And then day into night, obviously, it's going to make the clouds make it darker, kind of like Venus in a way. So, yeah, we've got that one there. So, I'm guessing once we evolve all of these, we get the next extinction. We get the, the uh, Cretaceous period extinction event. So, should be pretty interesting. So, I'm sure we're going to see the Earth change in a minute. And also, the continents will probably start breaking up more as well. But, yeah, I'll have to see how that uh, how that goes. Yeah, we'll grab a, grab a screenshot of that, I guess. There we go. Um, right, anyways... So let's continue. So we have a lot of stuff to buy here. So I think we're going to need to buy some more dinosaurs just so we can get this uh, get this uh, underway. So we'll go ahead and continue uh, boosting our uh, time here. We'll go to times two speed for this episode as well. There we go. Okay, so now we need to obviously get all these evolved. So they're quite expensive, by the looks. So we'll keep buying dinosaurs because they give us a massive, tremendous payout. So that should hopefully be uh, pretty useful. Okay, so we have got Quake and Slide there, so we've got that. We'll keep going until we get all of these unlocked, because we should be able to uh, get through it fairly quickly. And yeah, it is the Cretaceous Extinction. I just noticed it up there, as it said for us. So, pretty cool. So, again, we can grab the Meteoric Bombs here. Um, we'll continue getting more dinosaurs, even though they're going to go extinct. So, not good. So, we'll keep, uh, keep it rolling, so we can eventually buy them all. Just keep, uh, keep buying everything there. So we need to get more of the Luca things as well, or L-U-C-A. So hopefully we'll have enough to get all of that. Okay, so we get this, so that should unlock the... Aha! So, we need a lot of currency. About 71 to 81% of the species die out in this infamous extinction. Almost all dinosaurs have vanished along with swimming and flying reptiles, ple oh, plesiosaurs, mosasaurs and tyrannosaurs. A few theropods survive and later evolve into modern birds. Okay, right, so, again, we're going to need, so we need 105, oh, so we'll buy the Luca things here, because they'll help us in the long run, let's press this, it's almost enough to get us there, actually, look at that, okay, that's another gold thing, we'll grab that, so, okay, I think one more, so we'll buy, I guess we'll buy those, and that should hopefully give us enough to, almost there, so I'm not going to buy any more dinosaurs. We can just keep buying these because they just give us more over time. Do that. And then we're going to prep. We're going to do a double here. So we're going to go 
just double it up. And then I'm going to buy more of the Luca things so we don't lose our currency when we evolve this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy them individually. So we need 105. So I don't want to make sure I don't go over that. So one more. There we go. And click it. Here we go. Right. So Cretaceous period extinction time. You can see the Earth's constants are splitting up as well. But obviously this is the asteroid. It hit the Earth. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, dear. I'll get a screenshot. That looked cool. Oh, so it's gone yeah, straight into the Mexico area there. So, not good. But you can see, yeah, the constants have... Uh, they have broken apart more now. Okay. Pretty wild stuff. So, we've also got this... What's this? So, we've got a badge thing. Okay. Earth is a pale blue dot in a shooting galaxy space rock. So, I'm on the next big one strike. Ah, okay. So, what is that? Oh, cool. Oh, it gives a simulation speed increase as well. That's cool. Okay. There's the bigger... In look at the size of the impact there. Ooh. Just, just guess, get a look at that. Have all this switched off. Oh, dear. Ooh. So, you've got a bigger... Big load of stuff there. That doesn't look good. The Earth looks completely battered here. Right. Okay. So, next up, we have got the Age of Mammals. So, we've passed the dinosaur era now. So, the reign of dinosaurs. That's all gone all, uh, all red. Ah. In the current uh, Cenozoic era, the demise of dinosaurs makes way for mammals. Our squirrel size ancestors evolved into thousands of sun species from uh, Macedonians and saber toothed cats to whales, elephants, and eventually humans. Is there another ice age coming up after this? I, I, see, I don't, I don't know the Earth stuff too well. Collect human impact. Or maybe not. If humans are the next thing to sort of appear. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of. Uh... Yeah, we can't even buy anything, so we need to just. Voila, do that. So we can get this next upgrade. The Age of Mammals. Okay, so we're going to grab that. We can get Homo sapiens as well, which is obviously humans. So here we go. So Earth is evolving back into... Uh... Oh, okay. So it's looking pretty... Uh, 66 million years ago. So you can see the gods are looking uh, pretty much as we know them today. Yeah, Earth's looking good. Okay. No, uh, not, you can see the poles. They're not very frozen at the poles. Interesting. Okay, so we can get the... So we can't get Homo sapiens yet, so that's obviously humanity there. So obviously humans have been around for quite a while now, so... Okay, uh... There we go. So 66 million years ago. Okay, so this is getting expensive. Right. So we're on the goal 6 out of 10 here. Okay. So we'll get the Homo sapiens unlocked. I wonder what this last one here is then. If we've got humans, what is that going to be? Is it going to go into the future, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, we'll keep buying these because they'll see our making of the money now. Okay. So we'll grab this. So this is the volcanic rise of the Himalayas triggers a sudden global warm up called the Palocene Eocene Thermal, Exp uh, Thermal Maximum PETM. Newly evolved mammals and other life that can't adapt are replaced by species that can. Okay. Ice Age again. Ah, so I, yeah, I was thinking there was another Ice Age. Yes. Okay. Because obviously mammoths and stuff, they were after the dinosaurs, but they obviously lived in the Ice Age. Like saber-toothed tigers, sloths, all that. So, Antarctica drifts south and freezes. Sea levels fall and glaciers flow at both poles. An Ice Age begins. We're still in this age uh, 2.4 million years later, although polar ice is receding now. We could uh, tip back into a deep freeze. All right. Okay. So, Age of Mammals. Yes, let's keep going. Okay. So, next up, we've got... Oh, uh, you can see times changing. At 66 million years ago, 56, 2.4. Next up, we've got this one. So, um, recent human describes the period when human activity impacts Earth's climate, geology, and biology. It spans at least as far back as the Industrial Revolution from 1760 to the present day. So, that's when they started inventing the steam engine, factories, machines... Okay, let's keep it rolling. So I'm guessing human impact will be appearing soon. Yeah, this is getting very expensive now. Keep buying those. Keep evolving here. Okay, so we're going to buy that. So is human impact the next one? Oh, here we go. Aha, city lights have appeared now. So we're going to go to the present day then, I'm guessing. Present day, okay. So I'm guessing we are going to evolve into the future because we've still got... Um... Look, we've still got three more goals after this one to do so there must be this must go into the future so that could be quite interesting okay but you've got earth in the present day so human impact so that's now 
Okay, so what we've done to Earth so far, dam or divide most of us, transform a further land, overfish and overhunt, accelerate the extinction of species and reduce diversity. Only 3% of the biomass of land mammals is wild, the rest is human, livestock and pets. Ah, of course. Right. Keep buying those. So we've gone from the dinosaurs straight to the present day so far in this episode. So what could be past this? We're going to obviously hop into the future, so I'll be quite interested to see how this plays out now. Okay, so, so we've got that. So we've done this, got these things. Okay, so now we're going into the next sort of future. What will trigger Earth's next mass extinction? As in past events, it will likely be a combination of stresses. Our current and future actions can stave off some threats for unavoidable events. We can only plan for survival. So it could be stuff like obviously natural disasters, anything like that. Um, or maybe it is man-made. Who knows? So let's keep doing this. We can obviously super volcanoes, yeah, asteroids. I mean, it could be anything. So let's keep going here, keep buying the Asian mammals. Okay. Climate tipping point. Carbon dioxide is rising at super fast rate because of burning fossil fuels, gas, oil, and coal. Melting permafrost unleashes methane into the air. The sunlight um, trapping gases could trigger a permian like scorched earth with only the poles as refuge. So, yeah, very high greenhouse levels. Okay. Oh, it looks like there is an extinction coming up. Oh, what's that? So that could be a future event. Obviously, none of this is confirmed, but it is there. It could be there to haunt us. So, let's keep it rolling. Oh, this is getting very, very pricey. So, the age of mammals could be destroyed here, which is also the current era. So, not good. Okay, let's grab that. It is. Okay, next up we've got Dead Ocean. Seas are warming and acidifying rapidly, killing coral reefs and destabilizing food webs. Oceans could turn into dead zones, as in the Odovitican extinction, overhunting lost habitat, and pollution also threaten global life. Okay. Right, let's keep it going. Whoa, this is very, very pricey stuff. Oh. Alright. I mean, it still looks like we've got enough of five things to evolve before we get to this extinction one. So there we go. Nuclear winter. So these are all of the possible sort of scenarios. Humans have the technology to destroy the planet in minutes. Nuclear war could turn Earth into a cold, dark, radioactive wasteland for years. The nuclear winter would resemble a post-asteroid Cretaceous end. So yeah, after the dinosaur asteroid had all cooled down, obviously you've still got all of that material still in the atmosphere, blocking out the sun, making it cold. Killer space rock. Asteroids and... Comets have bombarded Earth from day one. We're tracking 90% of near Earth objects, NEOs. The space looks likely, um, or the space rocks likely hit us, but even if we spot a threat, we might not have time or tools to deflect it. Depends how big the asteroid is, because I mean, if we shot a rocket into an asteroid, it wouldn't do much, unless it's a very small one. So there we go. Whoa, this is grinding very slow. Look how much time we have to pass here. This is wild. Okay. Okay, what's this? Galactic hazards. As our solar system orbits the galaxy, it passes through two hazard zones when it crosses dense plane asteroid impacts uh, ratchet up. When it moves above the galaxy's magnetic field, Earth is exposed to deadly cosmic rays, high energy, high speed particle streams. Yeah, I mean, any sort of bursts, supernovas, stuff like that, gamma ray bursts, you never know. So, there we go, right. Aha! So, this is the end, this is the possible end of humanity in however far in the future, if it ever happens. So, so, what does this say? The timing causes and scale of the sixth extinction event are uncertain. What species will survive? If not humans, what survivors will evolve to dominate the planet? So this could be, I mean, who knows? This could be million years away, billion, I mean, who knows? We don't know. So, this is the uh, end of the human era, possibly, on Earth. I mean, I mean, hopefully technology will have passed us. Um, by whenever this is where we'll be able to survive uh, something like this. Obviously live off world hopefully at that point. So obviously something happens to Earth, you still have people in other places. I mean who knows, depends whenever this may happen. Um, let's go again, that's got enough, alright. Here we are, so we can get human extinction. So what's going to happen here? So we can, okay, what we'll do is we'll invest a bit in this. So as long as I've got 900 SX we can, uh... yeah, so I might as well yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, okay, that, that, I can't buy any more. Okay, so. What happens here? 
So this is the end of humanity. How's this going to work? We don't know how, what's going to cause it. So, oh. Okay, that looks like asteroids. Could be, could be nuclear. Who knows? Could be nuclear, could be asteroids. Yeah, that looks like an explosion. Oh, dear. Oh, that doesn't look good. So, look at the state of that. You can see flooding as well, because obviously in the future, higher water levels flooding. You can see the UK there, for instance. A lot of the southern England is flooded. Africa, you can see the Brazil area where the rainforest is. North America, that's appeared from somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. That's What's that? That's really bizarre. Australia is gone. Australia? What's happened to Australia? It's gone. You can see uh, Africa has collided with Europe, so the Mediterranean Ocean has gone. And the Baltic Sea, they're all gone. There's a lot of patches appearing to new areas of landmass. Interesting. Okay, we've got another one of those things. So how many do we need? So I want to get this thing here, because that, that helps the planet simulation. So that's the one we want. Okay. So, what is this? Cockroach well. <laughs> So what species will inherit Earth next? Fun fact, insects have survived three of our last four extinctions by reproducing, adapting, and diversifying quickly. They tolerate freezing, heat waves, starvation, and even radiation very well. Who knows? Yeah, insects, yeah. Right, so this is all possible scenarios now. So, yeah, I'll grab that. So we need five quintillion. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay, that's enough, All right? Okay. This will fix the Earth into a new sort of look. Let me get a cool little picture of that. So I've got pictures of like every stage we've done of Earth now. So I think that could look quite cool. There we go. Grab a screenshot of that. Why not? So that's a pretty beaten up Earth. So cockroach world. So how is this going to look? Whoa. Whoa, what is that all about? That looks really cool. Oh, damn. That looks really cool. Uh, oh, look, all the continents have moved again. Hey. So this is the Pacific Ocean. So this is what's left of uh, Asia, I'm guessing. Um, let's wait for the Earth to rotate. I kind of want to see that. So that's a new supercontinent there. So we've gone into the far future now. So I think that's what's left of Africa down there. I can't really move the camera very well. Um, oh, because it can do it. So that, that, I'm assuming this is what's left of Africa. This was Asia, maybe Australia. Antarctica's obviously moved back up as well. Japan would have been here somewhere. That's South... I, I want to say that's South America. You can kind of see the bottom area there. North America is here? Oh. Yeah, that's definitely South America. North America, Canada, up here. They've collided with Europe. So, obviously, the Pacific Ocean is very big now. All the lands kind of come back together. Okay. So, an essential question. So, in the next hundreds of millions of years, how many die-offs and evolution reboots would our planet endure? Could an event wipe out all life on Earth... We've came close in the Permian. Okay. Unknown species. <laughs> so, will cockroaches inherit the Earth? It is a meme that took off in the 1940s. Oh, yeah, there's been, like, all old films have stuff like that. Like, black and white films. With, like, stuff taken over the Earth. Uh, what species will be the last dominant one to survive the mass extinctions on Earth? There are almost no wrong answers. No right answers, no wrong answers, in theory. Okay, so let's buy some cockroach well. <laughs> Okay, so next up we got Solar Apocalypse. Obviously, this is where the sun will start becoming possibly a red giant with the sun. So now we're going into the far future. So, Because obviously we know for a fact there will be another extinction on Earth because of the sun's existence. Oh, oh okay, so that's the next one. So, we are in fact all doomed. As the sun dies, its radiation will intensify and sterilize Earth. That could happen as soon as 800 million years from now. In a few billion years, our dying star will vaporize the planet itself. So yeah, this is the red giant. So we know for a fact there's going to be at least one more, no matter what we do. There's going to be one more, at least one more extinction event in the history of Earth here. So we can see we've gone through quite a lot now. So I think this was the... Which was the sixth extinction event? I think it was... I think the human one would be the sick one, right? How many have we had? So we've had... So we've had one, two, three, four, five. So human extinction would be the sixth one if it ever happens. And obviously this would be the set, the sixth or seventh extinction event. Assuming how... Uh, or, yeah, wondering however Earth uh, plays out. Okay. So. Let's grab more of the, these things. Grab some of those. Okay. So that should be enough to... They give us what we need. So how expensive is that? So we need 
But how much do we need? Seven. Okay, so one more click should be enough. Okay, there we go. So this is where the sun... I wonder if the sun will change in the simulation here. So will the sun change over there? It still looks... It's looked the same the entire time. I kind of want to get a picture of this earth with all these funky lights. That looks so cool. That does look so cool. I need these little ghosts to disappear. 27 seconds left. Okay, what I'll do in the meantime is I will... Okay, so we need 7 SP for that. So if I keep buying these, as long as I don't go over 7, we should be okay. Okay, so about there. Okay, now let's just wait for these guys to disappear because I really want to get this cool picture. So hopefully I can make the thumbnail look really cool. That's cool. I really like the way that looks. That is so cool. There's the moon. Yeah, that's a good looking... There, there, there you go. Nice. Get a screenshot of that. That does look really awesome. All right, okay, so... Here we go. Solar Apocalypse. Oh, oh the city lights have disappeared. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so is the sun going to get... Oh, it is. Oh, damn. 100% destroyed. Oh, the sun is big. So that's... um, That's not good. Look at the size of that. Oh, the moon's disappeared. Where'd the moon go? It's been vaporized. So the sun is now big, big nasty. Earth's even got a trail. It's losing material there. Not good at all. So Earth is pretty much gone at this point. No more Earth. So, space loophole. There was a loophole. Colonize another world before the Soka Apocalypse. If humans don't manage it before going extinct, could future Earth species carry on somewhere else? Okay. There's that done. Oh, so we've got 50 of these now. So we can buy this... James Webb Telescope Trophy for a two times buff to all terrestrial planets in the Beyond Simulator. Yeah, we want that because... That's the beyond... Yeah, these other ones, we don't play these other sims. We only play the space one, so I'm going to buy that. There we go. Cool. So that'll give us like a cool little thing. Right, anyways. So, we're now going out into the far future. We've left, we've left Earth behind, so no more Earth. That is really cool, the way that looks. So, right. So this is the last mission. Okay, so we're going to finish this today then. All right. So, let's see how this plays out. So we're going to get the future people. Life beyond. Comets and asteroids are always seeding distant worlds of water, carbon, and other ingredients for life. Add energy, light, heat, or chemical, and life can take hold. What alien species have evolved and will evolve elsewhere in the universe? Okay. So let's just keep buying those. Okay, there we go. We've got loads of those. Okay, so then let's do this. Okay. Cool. Got that. Okay, so now the only mission left is to buy these. So we need just one more. We need one more. So let's just uh, grind that quickly. Just one more. We need to get 1,200. Then we have completed the simulation. I think. Assuming that's the last, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, so far we've got this. The ocean chemistry. So that gives us increased simulation speed. Then we've got this one. Again, that increases simulation speed. So the last one. Oh, there's the James Webb we did from before in the last episode, or the last little episode we did on this. Okay. Oh, yeah, we did all the James Webb stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so then I should be able to buy the one more we need. And there we go. So, open. So this is it. The last, the last goal. So what is this? Oh, Solar Apocalypse. Our last universal common ancestor lived a few billion years ago. The solar apocalypse begins in less than a billion years. We're closer to the end than the beginning of all life on Earth. Eh. Okay, so that's it. We've done it. We've, we've done this. Like evolution, extinction never ends. It is a relentless cycle of death followed by new life. Even Earth itself will die. The question remains, will any Earthlings be strong, sentient, and wise enough to outlive our home world? Okay. Exploration complete. There you go. So, Earth is left in this state here. So, not good. And the moon has disappeared. So, yeah, that's uh, that's not looking good. Earth is very, very dead now. That's quite cool. I really like the art in this game. It's funky. I like it. It's obviously not like enhanced graphics, but it's got like a nice sort of almost like cartoony feel to it. I like it. So, that's our whole grid. So, we started off with the Luca here. Evolved through all of these different eras. All the different dinosaur primitive life eras into the human era the age of mammals then we had the human extinction 
into the possible future world of future species in towards the solar apocalypse and 800 million years in the future all the way into the beyond life in the far future that's so there we go so that's all done so we can't buy anything else can we we'll keep buying these but i mean they don't do anything so everything's extinct <laughs> So what a lovely way to uh, end this off. So that gives us more uh, simulation speed as well. So now, for instance, if I go back to... So we've this is all complete. So if I go back to our beyond... So the normal space one we've checked out. So I think there should be like a new James Webb telescope for us to play with. So that should be all the way with Earth, I think. Ah, James Webb, there he is. Hey, there you go. So the James Webb telescope... So this is like extra part we've unlocked for this simulation. The James Webb Telescope is part of the most ambitious feats of astronomical engineering I ever achieved. Improving on the foundations laid by the Hubble Space Telescope, it has induced many technical innovations and will photograph previously unseen parts of the universe. So that increases our payout for this simulation. There it is. So that adds it back. I'm sure we already had this in our simulation. They must have taken it away and added that mission you had to buy. Okay, so there it is. So we've got James Webb back. Nice. So there goes. So that's in orbit of um, yeah. So that's in orbit of the sun and Earth there. Okay. Cool. Nice. And we've also got some, uh, I guess we'll just, I guess while we're here we might as well increase this. But obviously there's not much we can do in this simulation since we've completed it for the time being. So we just need to wait for the future DLC or future updates where they add more stuff to this simulation. Because I want to play more. But we've completed all this game. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do other than just keep leveling up the planets really slowly. So... You know, it's, uh, we're stuck at the moment because we've, we've completed the simulation. And it I log on every week. It takes forever to level these up now. I mean, it's, the simulation's going so slow, so I can't really do anything, really. But, I mean, Lisa James Webb give us a two times increase to all of the rocky planets. I mean, that will help in the long run, I guess. But, yeah, there's James Webb. So, that's all that done. So, we'll have to keep waiting for that to level up. But, yeah, I want to go out here. But, yeah, there we go. So, that does it for... This uh, little mini series of Celta Singularity. So that was a life after apocalypse um, simulation there. So I hope you guys enjoyed these two episodes checking this out. It was quite a lot of fun, actually. It was quite cool going through all the Earth uh, extinction periods and all of that. So, yeah, that's where the Earth uh, ends up, unfortunately. So there we are, guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. And, yeah, I'm interested to see what you think about this game and this uh, little mini event for this game it's pretty cool so yeah let me know what you think down below and yeah let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video guys and yeah also subscribe for more and yeah if that all said and done guys i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day stay safe out there guys and see you later